All right, everybody, this is going to be a personal PSA reveal. You can see we've got 11 beautiful PSA boxes over here, sponsored by StockX, who appear now. This is uh, the order I submitted in late February. I got checked in early March, bulk order. I don't remember which one of the variations it was. The, you know, They kept changing the rules at that time. I think at the time you had to do 200 cards minimum, so I did it up with like 215 or 220 cards on this. Luckily it doesn't look like they upcharged me for anything, so that's good, because I think some, some of the cards hopefully would exceed the $100 value, but we'll see as we go through here. And we'll, uh, we're actually going to start with a couple, a uh, little bit of mail stuff that came in today, because I did get two pretty sweet little cards that I want to show off to the group. The first one here is my boy, Nico Horner, Luminaries, oops, to 10. Beautiful little card, love the red. If anybody sees the, I think they do these to five and to one. Definitely be interested, hit me up. You see one out there. And the other one here is, the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Pretty sweet little card I've been after for a while. Doesn't quite fit in with my wall of banks, but it is a banks card. It is the 1963 Home Run Leaders card of PSA 8, and it's a beautiful PSA 8. So you not only get Mr. Ernie Banks, but you get Mr. Willie Mays, Mr. Hank Aaron, Mr. Frank Robinson, and Orlando Subpoena in one card. And it's just beautiful. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. So without further ado, we'll get into these boxes. I think this was roughly 80 or 90% was uh, modern or ultra-modern. I have not peaked. I didn't look at the grades, so I have no idea what I got grade-wise. Obviously hoping for good grades, and my dog is going a little crazy there on the floor over there. So we'll see what we got here. Uh, so we start off, looks like, with some Adleys. PSA 9 on the Adley Erisman Bowman Draft. So the next several cards will be this guy here. Yeah. So we got that in a 9, 10, 9, 9, 9, 10, 10, 9, 9. That's a little disappointing. We got an awful lot of 9s out of them. But PSA seems to be getting tougher with their grading, so that is what it is. Now we've got to go from modern to old. We've got 1905 Harry Krauss T205. I like to go ahead and get anything that I managed to pick up. T205, T206. These pre-war cards slab just so I know they're authentic. Um, with anything you guys see here, for the most part, it's for sale. Uh, there's very little here that's actually for my personal collection. It's just mostly just for sale product. This is a pretty cool looking little card. And we got a T206 for the personal collection, after I just get done saying that. Not exactly the best condition, sweet cat back, one and a half. But it's actually a really good look at one and a half. We talk, talk about eye peel all the time. It's having a hard time focusing with these boxes so close to it. But it's, you know, it's well loved, but it completes a spot in my personal collection. But it's also got the rare, the rare variation where it's struck through there at the bottom. So, it's pretty, pretty cool. That one's going to the personal collection, so we'll put it over here on the other side of the desk. Then we got a 1934 Wild World of Gum, PSA 2. I have a hard time with my camera here. Mr. Travis Jackson. Luis Apricio, 1960, and a PSA 7. Not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely was what I was thinking. We got a Mickey Mantle here. I think this is a 63. No, this is a 68. Huh. I only came back at one and a half. I'm going to have to look at that a little bit closer and figure out why it's only one and a half. But 
you might see this guy coming up on vintage breaks. Uh, he's got a little bit of a issue there in the corner, but I don't, I don't know. I think it's undergraded, but I think everybody thinks their cards are undergraded. <laughs> got a Gravity Out Mini and a PSA 5. This is part of a. I've got another. I've got a couple of these sets that are raw. This I like to get some of these graded up for the sets. So that's a five. We got a Gary Gintry and a seven. Man, I'm not sure how the, what happened to this guy. But the only time I ever submit these is when I think they've got a shot at a nine or a ten, because I'm not currently going after the the non mini variation of seventy five. That's a really beautiful looking Gary. So. Oh well, sometimes you don't win. That's a seven again. Same situation, kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Got the rookie outfielders here. Another seven. I could buy. I could. I could buy. That's a seven. It's a little off center. It's got a little bit of corner on it. Oh, look at this! Something that's definitely not for my personal collection. Definitely won't be staying. Zion Williamson. Panini Hoops PSA 9. That's definitely going to not be around my house for very long. And we've got a rated rookie, Jean Morant, in the PSA 10. Again, won't be sticking around for very long. Well, box 1. I'm going to go with so-so. Not so exciting. Box number 2. And, of course, I'm watching Vintage Breaks on my other screen here. Back to some modern stuff here. Got some Alec Bombs. 2018 Bowen Draft Alec Bomb PSA 10. PSA 10. PSA 10. PSA 10, PSA 9, PSA 10, PSA 9, 9, 10, 10, oh, this is, the, and this is the chrome, so that's not too bad, we did pretty good on the Alec Bombs. Three nines, the rest tens, plus the chrome ten. That's not too shabby. I can't complain about that. Better than the Adleys. And yeah, speaking of Adley, here's some more Adleys from earlier. Same card as before. PSA 10. 9. 9. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10, 9, and 9. Well, that helped even it out there a little bit. Get these ordered in with the rest of them. I sent these in when he was super hot to get. I was hoping to get these back way sooner. Box number 3, but... It is what it is. The world kind of went to hell in a handbasket. So I've got some 2020 Series 1 here on the top. I get the Boba Shet 9. Turn the bases. Another 9. Another 9. Another 9. Another 9. Another nine. There we go. There's a ten. Never disappointed in the nines. The nines just mean you got to hold on to them a little bit longer to get some good value out of them. Ten. 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 Nine. 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 End up Mr. Bow. It's a little disappointing. We got 50 about 50 percent nines out of that. A little less, but 
it is what it is. I mean, I'm never really, like I said, I'm not disappointed ever with getting nines on cards, especially the big superstars, because if they do blow up, the nines end up rising value enough where it's no big deal. So, got some more Alec Bombs here. Nine. 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 Here's the rest of the nines for Alec Bombs. Oh, into ten. So, we'll uh, get these ordered in over here. Nines in here. Ten. Well, this is what's nice about these mostly ultra modern ones is they go pretty quick because I've got ten or more of most cards. I don't ever get disappointed if, uh, especially these modern ones, the ones that I personally pulled. I think for the vast majority of these, I personally pulled those Alec bombs. I did, I did buy, so those weren't ones I personally pulled. But everything else, personally pulled. So it's kind of, yeah, I'm not disappointed when those come back as a, a nine. Yeah, I'll only start getting disappointed if it's like a seven or less. Cause that means I really missed something. Nine, sometimes just flip of the coin. Got some Series 1 Alvarez's here. Ten. Nine. We'd like to see a lot of tens here. Ten. Nine. Nine. Ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. 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 Ten. Ten, ten, nine, nine. Oh, then we switch to Boba Shet. About 50 50 there for Mr. Alvarez. Uh, we've got the Rainbow Foils, which are super, super condition sensitive. They got a nine on the Boba Shet. That's not too shabby. I'm not going to complain about that. Got another Boba Jet foil in a nine. Boba Jet and a regular Boba Jet in a nine. And a, another regular Boba Jet in a nine. Not going to complain about that too much. I have no idea what he's, he's going for in a nine right now. Do some research, but. Always happy to make a deal with anybody in VB. You guys want to. We want to buy one or more. We'll talk. Some of these I'll probably want to hold on to for a little while. Watch them rise up a little bit, hopefully. All right. Let's get some, the Nico Horners in this stack. Oops. All right. So Nico's. Off the bat, we get the Mr. Nico in a 10. So let's see what we do here. Then we get a nine. Then we get a nine. Then we get a nine. Good thing I only have a couple hundred of these, so nine. Not in this order, just in reserve. Nine. Ten. Nine. Ooh, that's an eight. Our first eight here. Huh. Yeah, we'll take a look closer at that later. Ten. Uh, didn't do too good with those guys. Let's see. We've got oh, this is the Chrome Orange Refractor and a nine. Now we've got his 2018 uh, Bow Draft first. That's an eight. I didn't pull this one. I bought this. Must be a little bit off somewhere. Got his regular paper version of that nine. A ten. Another 10. Two down. Stack these guys up. Make a little room. And we 
we've got ah oh, man the two, 2019 Panini Contenders uh, draft pick tickets. I really like to look at these cards. I don't normally go after the Panini stuff for my personal collection, but I think these are really beautiful cards. Got that in a nine. This one's the diamond variation of the same card, but it came back at eight. Get a diamond look on it. It's a little disappointing. And we're back to some Yordans. This is the Yordan short print at a nine. Again, I really thought that was a ten, but I'll take it. Yordan regular in a ten and a nine. Man, I really wish that short print was a ten. And I've got the vintage breaks guys singing in the background now, which is a little disturbing. Box number six. Reach the, uh, the halfway point here, eleven boxes. Oh, here we go. Everyone's favorite card from the eighties. The Mr. Ripken F face error card. Got in an eight, but I like to know they're authentic. But this is the black scribble, which is very hard to find. So you can tell the black's not a box, it's just black scribble thing. So that's going to the personal collection. Got some Jeters here, 1993. One, got one at a, at a nine. Another one in a nine. Another one in a nine. These I put all I pull, all personally pulled, and I believe this should be a gold. And yeah, this came out of nine. That's pretty nice. Pretty good. That's what I expected. Definitely wasn't expecting tens on those, but we're gonna get some Vladdy series ones. This the or this is the updates I should say from 2019. Nine. This is the Vladdy home run derby update in a nine. A little disappointing there. Jimenez holiday nine. Uh, Jimenez sepia refractor. Chrome got that to ten. That's a nice little card. Eli Jimenez Bowman Platinum rookie in an eight. It's a little surprising that came because eight. Those are usually pretty easy. At least nines. Must be something on there I missed. Get the Jimenez same card in a nine. Same card in a nine. That's really surprising. Otani pitching, a nine. Get these stacked up here. Got an Akuna in a ten. Add to the collection. Another Horner. Oh, that's nice. Got at least one turkey red chrome and a 10. That's pretty sweet. Uh, got a turkey red in a 9. Got a, two 10s and a 9. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, let's see. This is one of the 1985 throwback. Oh, man. That is rough. I knew that was going to come back at 10 because it was off left to right, but at 8.5. Man. That's, that's a little rough, but it was an auto. It's slab now. And then, of course, the silver pack came back as 10. And then we got another 9. Did not do very well on the Nikos. Good, you know, like I said before, good thing I've got a few hundred of them sitting in reserve. Box number 7. Um, 
There we go. Looks a little bit better. Got Marco Luciano and an eight. I'm not really sure why I sent him off, but I sent him off. Some more Alec Bob Chromes fielding at a ten. Nine, ten, Let's see here. two chromes, a regular, it's not too bad, the chromes, got a set of Mullins, PSA 10, and the Bowman to Sterling. Michael Kopech. Oh, man. I love these speckle cards. But can't make it on. And we've got a one. There we go. One Soto Gold Update 10. Pete Alonzo. Nine. Pete Alonzo Chrome and a nine. That's a little disappointing. Those chromes are usually pretty easy to get tens. Ooh. Now it's things like this that surprise me. So I know I pulled this pack fresh. For it to come back as a six. I know I didn't do anything in the card, or when I looked over the cards, I would have sold just an error or an issue with that big. So that might get broken out, re-examined, maybe not resubmit. I don't like to do that, but um, we'll see. Wander Frank go Chrome and a nine. A Carter Kaibu rookie in a ten. Another Carter Kaiboom in a 10. Wander Franco in a 10. Nice card. Another Wander Franco, but in the 9. A Vladdy Daddy in a 10. A Jordan in a 9. Tatis Gold. Number one of 50 in a nine. I can't. That's, that's, a, that's tough, but that's a good card. Tatis Holiday in a nine. And another Ripken F Air in a nine. So we did, did better on that one. But that does probably mean, I think I had three in this order, so that might not mean, that means the third one may not be authentic, because those, they're, I put them all side by side with each other, and they usually come back side by side by side. And that was the beginning and the end of the last two boxes, so that would lead me to believe that they didn't slab the other one, which is, I suspected the other one wasn't legitimate, it was the whiteout version. And it was a weird version that I had never seen before. So I suspected it might have been might have been not legitimate. But it the cart felt real. It looked real. It didn't look like somebody had messed with it. So we'll we'll talk about it more, I guess, when I when I get it. But yeah. I think when this was some middles made, it was like eight or nine bucks a card, I can't remember. Okay, so the Glibers. I think this this order, I think, had 40 Glibers. So the rest of the cards probably are Glibers. So let's, uh, let's make a little bit more room over here. Let's stack these guys up. Okay. Ten. The Chrome Gliber updates. Ten. 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 
10. Pretty good there. Oh, we got some 100 bishops here. 100 bishop and a 9. 9. We got the Cody Huis gold at a 9. Another Cody regular at a 9. Cody regular at a 9. Adley Chrome and a 9. Another Adley Chrome and a 9. Another Adley Chrome and a 9. Man, I'm hitting. I did not do very well in the 10s, or PSA's gotten much stricter than they used to be. Another Adley to 9. 8.5. And, a half. and uh, Mark Shuni, whatever the heck his name is, I'm not sure why he, I submitted to him, but oh well. Update glibers more. This is the update chrome with different pose. Number 80 versus 26. These are all 26. Yeah. 10. That one came back as the 9. 10. 10. 10. 9. 10. 10. All right, now we got the update number nine. In the climber. So the third pose and a 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 9. 10. 10. Nine. We got a nine and a ten in one of the earlier versions. So we're pretty good at the Gliber so far. Or Gliber. A couple nines. Uh, number ten, and then we'll get to the. Two more boxes. Box number 10. More Glibers. So, ooh, this is the paper Gliber at 8. 8. And a 10. 10. 9. 10. 10. A, a nine, this is the non-pinstripe version, card number 99, I don't know why you got so many different cards, nine, ten, nine, wow, this can make it a four. We're going to have to spend some time looking at that, but that doesn't... I, you know, I look at these before I send them in. Anything at 9, again, not... is okay by me. But I came back a 4. So we're going to add this over here to the pile with the other Alonzo that came back super low and probably crack that out and take a closer look. 9, 10... 10, 10, 9, 9 and a chrome, 9 and a chrome, and a 10 and a chrome. Right. 
in the last box, which you PSA submitters, especially for where you get multiple boxes back, all know and love to hate is the box where you get the ones they didn't grade in. So hopefully what we're looking for is in this box, well, nothing in the cards inside envelope. But I know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be at least one. I mentioned before, the Bill Ripken error card is the only one that I know is missing. So, yep, I do have a cards inside envelope. The right way. Get all my paperwork here. We'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. So I did only have the one, and the wideout vulgarity did come back as altered in some way. So it is what it is. Like I said, the variation was where the white was extremely large, but what, looking at it underneath magnification, it's not like somebody erased the card. It doesn't feel funny cardstock's right so I'm not sure how it had been altered because the surface looks perfectly consistent across it I think they just mostly was altered because they didn't know what it was didn't want to have added the variation of the set I don't know I'll probably uh, hold on to it just to go with my air collection that's not too bad only one non graded card now we do have some uh, some more vintage here at the end we do have a 1962 Topps Garrett Ruth green tint and a PSA 5. The green tint ones are super hard uh, to find. So getting one of those in a 5 is good. It's my, I think it might be my only Ruth card for my personal collection. So it's not too bad with Ruth and Garrett on it. Uh, Vladimir Heritage and a 10. Oh, a Kino Gold Foil again, like I mentioned before. These gold foils are so condition sensitive, so nines doesn't upset me at all. Got a regular paper in a nine. Thought I had more kinos than that, but I could it'd be wrong. Let's go to the personal stack. There we go. I have a pink refractor in ten. Yeah, got a nine on the second one. Got a 10 on this one. And a 10 on this one. These are all ones I pulled out of packs. I did a lot of pack buying back then. Batigan Gray variation of 200. So this is a, a short print version, from what I understand, of this one. The US 200, 2018. No, this is, yeah, tops up to, yeah. So it's the shorter print version of that. So that's a pretty nice little card. Got a Gliber 9 of Class 3 black, or Class 3 gold label. I don't know why the gold labels don't get any love. They, they're really pretty cards. Gliber paper in a 9. A Gliber paper in a 10. 10. And a 9. So that is the end of my PSA slash mail day reveal. Like I said before, if you see anything here you might be interested in, hit me up. I'm always open to offers and deals. You'll probably see some of this stuff start popping up on the buy, sell, trade forum shortly. Because um, I do want to uh, at least recoup the grading fee out of this pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you all later.